Hey, Minecraft Mentor here, and today we're going to be showing you how to build one of my favorite passive energy farms, and also a uh, byproduct of this is essence wood. Uh, if you don't you burn it up, you'll have sticks, plenty of food from the apples, and also uh, sludge. So it has a few byproducts from this one if you want to use those, but you don't have to. Let's get building this thing right away. So I pre-built this 4x4 standard farm. Uh, you don't have to have the open or the middle block open because we're growing trees, so we don't need water here. But all we're going to do is come through right here underneath, one block down from the dirt. Put in your plant sower and then decide which direction you want to put in your plant gatherer. So the plant gatherer is just going to pick up your trees for you. And uh, I'm going to have it facing inward like so. Next, we want to upgrade these a bit. So we're going to put in tier four range upgrades. So if we show the working area, it's the perfect size for this farm. You're going to do the same exact thing for the uh, plant gatherer. And we are also going to put some oak saplings in there. So put our tier four in there. Notice they're not powered yet. We're not going to hook them up just yet. So from here, we do want to do a mecha or mechanism or some sort of pipe. I'm using mechanism because it's my favorite. Down into any size black hole unit. And the reason for that is because if you use the push-pull feature here, it's not actually going to uh, push items in here beyond 64. So it detects the inventory thinking it can only hold 64. So you need this pipe in between the two. And uh, I just configured this one to... Uh, pulling items from here so any logs or anything is going to get pulled out next we're going to bring over our uh, piping a few kind of lined up with the farm here and this is where we're going to place our other uh, black hole units so we're going to skip a slot right here we're going to go one black hole unit and we shift click. we can shift click with an empty hand here we're going to make this one sticks and then uh, any sticks that come out of here is going to go in there. The next one is going to be apples. So any apples out of here, we can just do that now. And uh, the final one is actually going to be this one's saplings, by the way. Let's uh, let's set that one real quick. Oak saplings specifically. We put them all inside the other thing here. I hate that you have to have an empty hand to actually look at it, but. Uh, you put the oak sapling in there, and now it's only going to allow oak saplings to go through there. Up top here, at the very end, just off the edge here, this is going to be where your oak logs go, and we can also put the filter in there. We are going to void extra items, but we can click on that later on. From here, we do want the same thing. So if you look over here, uh, we've got it going directly down into our resourceful furnace. Below that, we're going to do the same thing as we did here with the wrong cable. Put our transfer cable down here into another black hole unit. And this one is going to be uh, filtered with charcoal, so it only allows charcoal to come through here. Now, that's basically the setup for here. We need to uh, link them all up, power them, and we also need to configure this to pull the charcoal out once it's done cooking up. And there's our wood. So that's going to start doing that once it's uh, all powered up. But right here, we can see our input. We're going to select that to pull. So it's automatically going to pull items from uh, the top. And once it's powered, it will do all of that good stuff. Next, we want to take our saplings and run uh, another cable or another uh, tr basic logistics transporter. Set that to pull items out of here. So it's going to pull your saplings out, refill your sewer, and then... Uh, we can get rid of that and we're just going to run a power cable down below now the power cables are kind of subject to uh, wherever you want them really or wherever you you uh, kind of like having those so right here we have two different things we have a resourceful furnace then we have culinary mycelial generator we're going to place that under our apples and then we're going to set it to pull the apples out so uh, whenever you get apples out of the farm, it's going to convert that into energy, which is super useful. And if you ever get a backlog, you've got a nice little food source here, right? The other one, we're going to do furnace. So we want it to burn our furnace or burn our sticks off. Same thing. We're going to require it to pull the items out. And we're already starting to produce a little bit of energy. So what we do with that energy is actually uh, this is done here. We don't need to do anything. We can either connect it in from the bottom I'm going to connect it in from the back, actually. So 
We're going to go up one, and that's going to be able to power our plant gatherer from the side. And then from the backs, it's going to send energy into our uh, plant sower. So you can see it's already starting to work. And there's a few other things we can do here. So we do want this to be a self-sustaining uh, farm, and apples and sticks just aren't going to do it. So once uh, this gets energy to it, we can bring that on over like so. Uh, that'll start producing our coal, and then we're going to pull our coal out here. And if uh, I'm going too fast for anybody, just pause it, and you can kind of see what we're doing. Right underneath the farm, we're going to place down six uh, mycelial generators. So I do six because I want a backlog of charcoal and stuff, but you can put more if you want to produce more energy. So uh, from here, we've got all of those out, and it's as simple as going like so, and that's going to start sending your charcoal once it's produced back into here and these will eventually fill up on their own it only does one at a time and then we're going to pull the energy from these uh you can decide where you want to hook it in if you want to do here it it's pretty straightforward i like this little setup right here it's clean and it's close by finally uh let's come over here and grab our ultimate energy cubes and it's super simple farm if you just know the uh, basic mechanics of it. It doesn't have to be in this particular shape. It's just you have to know where to uh, send the items and how to process them. So we're taking our wood, which only produces uh, 300. Well, they both produce 80, 80 RF per tick in here, but the charcoal lasts 1,600 instead of 300. So it's worth processing it into a uh, different material, basically. So... Finally, we do want to uh, collect some of this energy. It is considered a infinite energy farm because the trees grow, uh, the trees are turned into charcoal, then you put them into your furnaces, which converts it back into energy, and it runs this thing completely self-sustaining. Uh, you never really have to pay attention to this thing again. And as you can see, we've got our saplings. Eventually, this thing will fill up, and then your saplings will uh, back up in here. So we do want to shift click and click the void extra items so once this thing reaches 2000 items it'll just void everything else out so that way you don't get a backup in here that's the very basic farm to this now if you do want to upgrade this thing and make it a bit faster here's the different options you can do one of them is just to put a furnace here then throw down uh some things so it's doubling your coal production the other one would be to add more mycelial generators and finally off to this side, I like to sometimes run a power cable. And then we're just going to throw in a fertilizer right here, which if you grab the plant fertilizer and then some fertilizer, that's going to make your trees grow super fast, which is like a hyperactive mode almost. And uh, as you can see, it's just powering up and it's going to start making these trees grow extra, extra fast, which produces more wood and it increases the efficiency of your farm. Um, if I'm not missing anything, actually, there's two things I'm missing. Sludge is going to build up here. Normally, I don't do anything with the sludge because it's not really affecting the machine that much. But you could put a sludge refiner next to this and power that with these cables here. You could also pull essence off of here. So every time this furnace uh, smelts down wood, it'll give you a little bit of EXP or essence. And you could use that for other machines inside your... Thing. So it's a great passive farm that produces a ton of different items. And also, of course, it's infinite energy. It's constantly producing. So everything that's going into the energy cube is actually excess energy. And But I do warn you guys, don't draw too much power off of this farm because it is self-sustaining, which means if you draw too much power off, some of these machines are going to shut off and that's going to stop you from actually... Uh, oh, we forgot to click this to export. So it'll shut off all these machines and it'll stop working. But now it's finally working properly now that we uh, got that little step we forgot about. And it's cooking up our sticks, cooking up our apples, wood's going over into charcoal. And that's pretty much it for this one. If you uh, found it helpful, like, comment, subscribe.